In this video, I'm going to show you a really, really good money play that you can use to beat the meta defense right now, which is the nickel over in Madden 23. This is going to show you how to beat some man pressure. Really, in general, the meta right now is a six-man blitz, um, five to six-man blitz with man coverage behind it. So we're going to show you a really fun little play that I personally call a lot whenever I'm facing a defense like this, and it's out of the trips tied in. Shocker. Um, you guys know that I love Trips Tied In this year. If you want to get my full Trips Tied In offensive ebook, make sure that you join our Patreon. I'll put a link in the description below. And we're getting ready to uh, add some more updates. We added an update to it this week, and we're going to continue to add updates as we find new things. With uh, Also, with uh, different route chemistries starting or uh, route abilities starting to come into the game with Tied In Apprentice and Slot Apprentice and and uh, outside apprentice we have also some other things that we're going to be sharing with you guys for how to maximize those abilities as well all right so let's go ahead and jump into the video here like i said i'm going to be showing you a blitz beater uh from this from this uh formation and we're just going to go ahead and quickly set up our depth chart and uh, we're going to use the play curl flat um this is probably my favorite blitz beating concept or play uh right now in the game okay curl flat is the play and the meta defense right now is over Storm Brave. And basically what we're going to see is we're going to see this look right here. So you see that this guy right here has to guard the running back. And that's what we're going to try to take advantage of. Now, obviously, this is the user, right? So if the user kind of freezes here, we'll have a snap throw to the running back. If the user runs to the running back, then we'll have another snap throw, which we're going to show you here in just a minute. So uh, I'm just going to set this up, put that guy right there just, you know, for demonstration purposes you know obviously he's going to hover the gap so the setup is very simple what i like to do is put the tight end um on a drag route and then i like to wheel the running back very simple now on the left side if you wanted to you could motion block this flat route if you wanted to motion block uh him you could motion block him you could put the outside receiver on anything you want whatever it doesn't matter to me the main three routes is the drag the wheel and the post those are the main three routes on this play the left side is kind of a, a whatever you want to do uh one of the things that i really like to do is combine the flat with a c route or a corner route from an outside apprentice ability i think that's really good as well it just gives us another read against man if they aren't blitzing um this is really good and then another thing you could do if you wanted to make this a little bit better against zone if they're mixing in some zone then you could simply streak that guy now you have a high low on the left side so those are kind of some variables that you can kind of tag in but the main concept is this wheel and and uh in uh quick quick drag to the tight end so what you see here is if they run to the tight end man i got screamed at um and i have short and elite on my tight end in mutt but if they run to the tight if they run to the running back i'm sorry then your tight end is going to be wide open. If they run to the, if they freeze on the tight end, then your running back will be wide open. But you see how he out leverages that guy a lot. Um, that is really the key to this. Okay. So now what you're going to see, and again, a good player can obviously adjust, but we're going to mix up our play calls. I think that's really important. I think one of the best adjustments, honestly, would be to take the safety and man him up on the running back for this specific concept. But it does cause other issues um, in this formation as well. So let's say that they're going to take the tight end. So to illustrate that, I'm just going to like keep my user here because that's kind of what it would look like. So now you're going to you're going to quickly look to the running back. You see, oh, user stays. OK, we'll throw the running back and you see how really simple read, right? Really, really simple read. But it can be an, a very effective blitz beater, um, especially if they're sending a blitz with this type of alignment where they're in man line. And they're going to kind of basically play chess with you. Now, so what they're going to have to start to do is they're going to have to start to, uh, you know, basically put this guy in man coverage on the running back. And then they're going to want to, like, lurk in the middle of the field. And they might still send this uh, blitzer off the left side. Okay? So that's kind of the idea. So now if they're going to go to the tight end and they have somebody on the running back, what you'll see with this is my post will now be open to the right side. Now, if you want to kind of help yourself a little bit and just give yourself a little bit more time to come, uh, a little bit more time to um, like come to the ability to like make a read and all that, uh, what you want to do here is, again, we're going to mirror like them manning the running back up and they're going to blitz us off this side. And obviously they're going to be in a position where they can still get some pressure. What we want to do is we just want to slide away from the running back and we want to ID the defensive end. 
Okay, so slide away from the running back, ID the defensive end, and then this should give you just a little bit more of, a, of an opportunity here. And then what you'll see is I can throw that route right there once he cuts, once he cuts across the, uh, the middle of the field. So if they go to the tight end, then you know, you're gonna have that. What's probably honestly going to happen is they're going to kind of like bait the tight end. So they're gonna like basically lurk the middle. So they're gonna like look like they're gonna go to the tight end and then they're gonna come off of it. And what's really important for you as the QB here with making this read is you need to say, okay, that's, not, oh, he didn't stay on him. So now I got to throw that tight end. Okay. Now, obviously, uh, again, I want to come back to something I said in the beginning of the video as well with this, you can get the same basic concept. Um, you can get the same basic concept by very simply motion blocking that slot receiver on the left. Okay. Which is not a bad deal. So you can just simply you know, run the same exact route combination, except now we're just gonna motion block this guy. Now you see here, we're able to pick the blitz up and we're able to have a lot of time to hit, you know, hit our route. Uh, so as you can see there, obviously I'm butchering my pass league because I think I still have freeform on and I don't think I have it on this account. But anyways, let me show you one more time. So again, you know, let's say they're sending uh, more than likely, like once you start to dot them a little bit, they're not gonna send six, they're gonna send five or they're gonna basically coverage out of this. Okay, um, you know, so this really gives us an advantage because we can send five out here and just dot. And then in the right situation, you know, we can motion block this guy in. And then now you see here that gives us a lot more time as Brady is butchering these pass leads, but it gives us a lot more time to be able to hit our C route on the left side. It also gives us uh, more time for the tight end to come across the formation. Again, I really think that it's important to say when you have short and elite on the tight end, um, it really does help him beat man to man. So by having short and elite on this drag route, it makes it a little bit more consistent uh, than what you'll probably see in the video here. But you see how he's just so far, um, I mean, I'm just telling you, probably my favorite blitz beating play in the game because it's really hard to man this up. Like four out of your five routes beat man and then the flat route you could block. Like. And they, they and they fit, they beat it fairly quick, honestly. Like the route that's going to take the most time is is this um, this route to uh, Godwin. Okay, so what you might be saying, okay, well that's all good, but what if they blitz us out of zone? Okay, uh, so what if they blitz us out of zone? Well, reality is, chances are, you know, if they're going to send again. They're going to pro if they're going to blitz you out of zone, they're probably going to be sending five. Um, it's just the best way to blitz out of zone, in my opinion. So again, you're going to be able to, for all intents and purposes, be able to pick this up, but it's basically the exact same. You're going to see here that the C route on the right is going to pull that guy out of the way. And then I can throw my drag. And again, we're high lowing them in the middle of the field. Of course, if they don't have hard flats, we'll be able to throw the ball quick to the running back out of the backfield. So really simple little play, but one of my favorite blitz beaters in Madden 23 guys, I think trips tied in is starting to really become, um, I, I I've always thought it was the best offense in the game, but I really do think as we're getting better players and they can actually beat man to man just by the fact that they have better route running or they have a better route running ability. This formation is really, really powerful. So if you want to get access to my full trips tied in offensive ebook, make sure you're in our Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up for that. And again, just a reminder that you get access to the updates to everything as well by being a Patreon member. And we're going to be dropping some updates very, very soon. Got a brand new ebook we're dropping early next week as well. Patreon members get access to all the ebooks as well. Like we've got, we're going to have our 10th ebook release early next week. So really excited about that. But if you want to learn how to run trips tight in, I think it's the best offense in Madden, at least right now. Uh, in my opinion, I think it's been the best offense in Madden for the better part of the last three or four years. There's just so many things you can do with this formation that you really can't do out of anything else. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to get our trips tight in ebook, make sure you join our Patreon at the link down in the description below.